All right. And so the Forum Beauty Collection has four different stylers. See them here. So let me talk about, let's go in order. So this is the Heat Serum Protect. This is if you're straightening your hair um, and you want to just make sure you don't get heat damage. I haven't used this one because I don't straighten my hair, but I've been looking at the Instagrams and the YouTubes and people have been having pretty enjoyable results. So if you're someone who straightens your hair, if your hair is relaxed, um, if you have naturally straight hair and you want to have a little protection when you use your flat iron um, and you're turning it up to a thousand degrees, this is what you'll use. Again, I haven't used this, I can't speak on it, but I've seen pretty good reviews so far. All right, and now we go into the stylers. I've tried all three of the stylers by now. So for my wash and go today, I tried something different. I tried the Sculpt Gel. So the Sculpt Gel wasn't recommended for me. It wasn't in my consultation. I'm not sure why. Um, I get the sense that it's meant for looser textures i know on the website it did describe um like waves and spirals so i'm not sure if it's supposed to be for type 4 hair i consider myself type 4a but um it worked pretty well still it has a it says for enhanced texture prevents frizz flexible hold um again i slept with my hair 80 maybe 75 percent dry so my roots frizzed up but i do like how it how it held my um and how it curled my ends look at that look at that curl right there that is a beautiful curl just so you know all right so this one is recommended again you use this on top of the leave-in um and it says for a softer hole you scrunch your curls and you give your head a good shake which is essential to any wash and go um i like this because even though it says curl gel I, it didn't come out like a gel. It kind of came out very creamy. Let me show you. Again, this is why I say these bottles are kind of hard to squeeze. So this is what it looks like. And it's a cream, but you can tell it's a lot lighter. Like it kind of, um, when you start to do this, it, it kind of gets very watery. So I can tell it probably does have a light hold. I don't feel it in my hair. It's not hard or scrunchy. So look, now it's like clear and watery. It looks more like a gel, but it doesn't feel it's not like eco styler you know it's not whatever state of matter that is um so yeah it's not sticky at all which i also like all right um so i use the sculpt gel and i mean it didn't give me two different results from the define which i'm going to talk about in a second but um so you might want to use them interchangeably i think it's really going to be great if you have more of like a type 3 type 2 texture um, just for a very lightweight hold. Um, if you, for me, I think I did this Friday night, so it's holding up pretty well um, in terms of um, holding the curl. And this is after I've slept on it and I've, done, I've steamed it a few times to make it fall back down, but I think it's holding pretty well. So I don't really see the difference. I'm gonna just get some of my other friends to try and maybe we can cut to the bottom of it. Friends with different hair textures. All right, so then we have the Define Cream. This was in my curl consultation. Um, if you look at the picture of the girl on the website, she has hair that looks like mine. So I think it's more for the type four wash and goes, personally. Um, it says soft touch hold for elongating curls, moisture edge. So the idea here is that it reduces shrinkage. So yeah, I guess it is for type four girls. Again, I have not been doing my wash and goes properly a lot of user error on my end i've been doing them at night and although i've been using my sit down dryer to speed along the process i have not been patient enough to get 100 percent dry before i go to bed <sighs> that being said i still enjoy how it looks um i think i posted pictures of my wash and go previously and they were pretty juicy i really like them uh this one is definitely more of a cream texture again this it's so hard to squeeze out. That's my one thing. Let's see. Oof. Ugh. Okay. Anyway, I will try to squeeze it out in a second. But anyway, so this one. All right. I got a little bit. 
So yeah, it looks similar, but it definitely is more of a lotion. It's a lot thicker than the Sculpt Gel. Um, it's a lot thicker than the Sculpt Gel. Um, and it definitely seems like it holds that hold. I like how it feels on my hair. Again, no hardness, no flaking. Um, I'm not sure how elongating it is, but again, if I get a chance to do my hair in the morning and either air dry or, or blow dry it till it's 100% dry, I'll let you know. But I think, to be honest, I've gotten pretty good stretch, so I don't really mind. Um, again, use it on top of your leave-in. And then lastly, this is the twist, which has been uh, honestly my the most consistent one. I've been able to do my wash, uh, no, not wash it goes. I've been able to do my twist outs and my braid outs with it. Um, I think you can really use it for any style. It says for protective styles, natural finish, holds and define. Um, yeah, so I think it's really good for any kind of manipulation. So Bantu knots, any kind of style like that. I don't know why they said protective styles because I don't really consider those protective styles if you're letting them out. But maybe just if you're doing like mini twists and something, it might kind of just be a better, it might just, you know, keep it moisturized and keep the style looking juicy and plump, even if you don't choose to let it out. So maybe that's what they mean. Um, but I like this one. My twist styles have been very shiny with them, like... I've really loved how my twist outs have come out. Um, very juicy. Um, I wore this in Florida and it was July and very swampy because Florida is a swamp. And I felt that my hair looked really amazing and it held up pretty well. And part of that could also be thanks to this product, which is the last product in the line. It's called Polish. It's the pomade. Um, which is something that, you know, if you're in the humid, a humid climate or you're sweating, I'm doing things like that. This is kind of like that. And I think it's about the same price and it smells a lot nicer and it's a lot less greasy. So you see, I've used some already. It goes on very light and it's supposed to be your finisher. So not like an edge control, but you can use it around, like you can just like rub it in your hands, put it over your hair, and it's supposed to maintain the style um, if you're maybe in humid climates or just if you're worried about frizz in general, maybe it's raining that day. So um, that I think was partly to help when I went to Florida, but definitely the combination between the twist and the pomade just did wonders and my hair lasted and looked great. You all saw the pictures, you know, it was fly. All right, so again, all of these products are available on formbeauty.com. You could also get them on Sephora, at Sephora, the store, and on Sephora.com. So if you're international, I know a lot of people are asking about that, you're able to get them shipped to you through Sephora.com. Um, they're definitely pricey. So I think the most expensive thing is the multitask. And it's, I want to say, $32 about. Everything else is in the 20s, but... Definitely a little bit goes a long way. So this is not a product that you're gonna be spending $32 on and then it's done in like four washes. No, I've done at least eight since then and I probably have about another maybe 20 to go. So I think these will definitely last me at least three months, four months, maybe longer. I don't know. I'll let you know when I finish the bottles. But I think even though they're very expensive, you don't have to buy them all at once if you don't want to. Um, you can pick out, you know, what you think might be the best for you. Um, and they definitely last a while. So I've really been happy with those. Um, again, what I said, the packaging is very beautiful. Just sometimes a little hard to work with, with these squeezers, with these ones where you have to squeeze them out. I wish they would change that, but you know, it's okay. <laughs> and yeah, so you can buy these. You can get 10% off. Um, with my ambassador code. So if you go to formbeauty.com slash cubicles and curls, you'll be able to get 10% off your first purchase. And I'll link that in the bio below. Um, and if you have any questions about these, I'll be doing more product tutorials, um, more reviews. If you have any specific questions, please ask me. I'd love to answer them. And so overall, I would say I'm very happy with this line. My favorites, again, are the Hydrate. 100% my favorite. I love the Multitask. It's so good. And out of the stylers, again, I'm gonna try washing goes again, but I think my favorite right now is the twisting cream. 
Um, it's just been consistent um, and giving me good results, so I enjoy it. So yeah, Hydrate, Multitask, and the Twist Cream, my favorites, but bar none, I very, I've had very few products that I've tried everything, and I've loved everything. The last time that happened was a while ago. So I'm happy. I wanted my regimen. I wanted to have a regimen that was consistent with, um, had the same products all throughout from start to finish because I do think that these companies make their products to work well with each other. So when you're using a lot of different products from different brands, they might work well at first, but sometimes eventually down the road, they might interact badly or have kind of bad results. So I really wanted to focus on finding lines that I can use from point A to point B. Um, and I'm happy that I found Form Beauty. I was skeptical at first because, you know, when I see brands that say they cater to everyone, it's hard to not be skeptical just because how can you create, create cater to everyone? How is this one size fit all? But from what I've seen, it really, they've really done a good job at formulating something that works for a lot of different types of hair types, um, from the super, super kinky to almost straight hair, um, just naturally straight hair. So I'm very impressed with them, especially coming out the gate. I think they did a really good job in formulating these products. Um, I'm very happy. I haven't had any issues. Um, yeah. So anyway, that's my review. I hope you guys enjoyed. Again, subscribe to my channel. It's pretty new. I'm trying to build it. Follow me on Instagram at cubiclesandcurls.com. You can follow me on Twitter at cubiclescurls. Um, again, link down in the description and make sure you try it out. And if you try it out and you like it, please tell me how it goes below. I'd love to see your pictures. I'd love to hear how you felt about it. Thanks and have a good day.